Hello there, Teach Me crew. Here we are for a Take 5 Friday. And today we're talking about spending a little bit of time outside. So in the theme of Take 5, this might even be five minutes that you spend outside. I say to you, that would matter. Now, more time outside, is that better? Well, probably. Let's talk about why I want you to bother to go outside, okay? So what are the benefits of this? And let's do it in five minutes. First of all, if we go outside, we might be a little less likely to be nose in the phone, watching TV, staring at the computer. I realize your phone can go with you and that's fine, but it gives us maybe a little break from that, particularly because studies are coming out now that are saying if we work in front of a computer or a screen in general all day, it is really important to change the angle of your eyes to look at something farther away before you come back to look at your computer. It really helps with your eye health. So going outside probably is going to help with that too. All right, what else? If we are in an office all day or in an indoor environment that has a lot going on, sometimes we hit what you might call sensory overload and that creates mental fatigue. So there is just a lot going on and it becomes close to too much for our minds to process and for our bodies to process. And if we can go outside, even if it's still just standing on an urban street, but there are trees, there are plants, there's a little bit more open space. Studies show that our minds relax and our bodies relax when we're in a natural setting. And so if you can go into a park when you really are surrounded by grass and trees and just natural everywhere, or you can be on a beach or a lake, that's fantastic. And even if you can just go out on your street and look at some trees and bushes and grass, that's still great. You might even find this is a good way to deal with a mental block. If you are someone who is creating something like writing or, I don't know, graphic design or anything that really requires your creativity or maybe you're doing some type of problem solving and you get stuck, try stepping outside for a few minutes, or maybe take a short walk around your neighborhood, and you just might find that your brain kind of sorts itself out. And especially if you're walking and you're moving your feet, sometimes the subconscious brain can also be working on something while you're in that motion. Now also, studies have also shown that being in nature has a positive effect on us because it helps our bodies reduce cortisol levels. Cortisol is that stress-related hormone. We tend to reduce muscle tension, so literally our muscles relax a bit. And we often even see that heart rate and blood pressure lower, those demands on your whole cardiovascular system. So if you do this regularly, Again, this is not my data. Studies are wondering and looking at whether being out in nature a lot might lead to lower rates of heart disease. Amazing. Now, you can also increase your vitamin D level when you get outside in the sun. Vitamin D is important for pretty much everything you can think of, but let's say bones, blood cells, and immune system. Do be careful of the sun. I'll leave it at that. Okay, let's go back to our calming our minds. Going outside, again, even for a few minutes, it can help lessen stress. It can help reduce anger. If you're upset with someone during the day, something happened. If you go outside and you sit on your porch and look at trees for a few minutes, or you go for a short walk up and down the street, or maybe you have a park nearby and you go just sit in the grass, it will help you to process that stress and that anger. And interestingly, regular access to green spaces is linked to lower risks of depression, improved concentration, and improved attention. Amazing. Now, you also might find that you sleep better because you're being exposed to natural light and that helps your body regulate sleep and wake cycles. You may have heard people say it's important that when you're sleeping, your room is totally dark. The opposite 
opposite is also important. It's important that you're exposed to natural light during the day and then your body is regulating what time am I supposed to sleep, what time am I supposed to be awake. So get outside for a few minutes. It's amazing for your health, your attitude, your mind, and it's just pretty. Enjoy.